Hello, everybody. What is going on? It's your friendly neighborhood, Miles. God, I always trip up on that. I don't know why. Friendly neighborhood, Miles. Back at it again with another Cult of the Lamb Let's Play video. In the last episode, we finally, holy smokes, when I say finally, I mean freaking finally, uh, defeated one of the, the heretics or the prophets, whatever they're called. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised I need to build another bed for one of my followers. Good thing I have the materials for that. All right, there we go. Ah, that's why, because I need to indoctrinate you into the cult. All right, what have we got? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as a heads up, uh, this is the... Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Um, this is the first... Um, this is the first video I am making um, as the Relics of the Old Faith update has went live. I don't know if it was today or like... I can't remember when, but uh, it definitely happened, so... Yeah, what are our traits? Uh, germaphobe, lose 10 faith when falling ill, 15% easier to level up, and lose 5 faith whenever another follower dies. Ugh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Uh, no tasks available. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll send you to worship. Oh, apparently I need... Two beds. Uh, interesting. All right, and I'm already missing the wood. I am... Oh, divine! I was like, okay, why is it not letting me collect? Okay, lumberyard. What's this? A follower will generate. Ooh, okay. Would you look at that? We need wood, and there's something here that will that. Blah, blah, blah. That will allow us to generate wood. And then the stone mine, a missionary, a demonic summoning circle, uh, basic decorations, an upgraded shelf. Excuse me. Offering statue, tabernacle, a prison. All right. Anyways, we are on day 13. Shalom. Great leader. We cannot rely on your crusades to bring us wood and stone. Let us build a lumber yard and stone mine. Uh, sounds like an awesome idea. Let me see if I actually have the resources to do that. I don't. So, throw me that, Batman. Alright, anyways. See, at the moment I get the necessary materials for the seed silo, that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty great. So some of the things with the relics of the old faith update, it's uh, things like uh, better cult management, uh, the prophets or heretics or whatever they're called, um, like the bosses that you fight at the end of uh, each level, um, they are available as um, uh, like followers. So, I don't know. I found that kind of cool. Unlock the stone mine using divine inspiration. Yeah, we got a lot to, uh, we got a lot to do. And I need to go, um, no. I need to go collect a reward from, uh, Joltry? I think that's how you pronounce that. See, the more and more I sit down and I play this game, the more and more I realize that this is gonna be one of those games that I'm going to want to own on uh, every console. No, you can do it. Truly divine. Some XP. Awesome. Let's go ahead and receive. 
and I believe, if I remember correctly, yes! There is a photo mode now. Oh, God, yes. So, most of the screen, obviously, all of these screenshots I've been doing, well, the thumbnails are screenshots. That's what I was trying to get at. Uh, okay, yep, time to clean this place up. I wonder, um, I wonder if there's, like, when you're AFK, like, not AFK, like, out of the game, like, not even in this game at all. Okay, someone is, I really, like, so I was scrolling on TikTok today, uh, today is the 24th as I am recording this video, and it was talking about followers being on poop duty, and I'm like, man, I really hope I freaking unlock that soon. I was about to say, what, what did I just do? Uh... I almost forgot these things can break. Okay, um, they are going to keep worshipping because there's, uh, nothing really for the most part to do. Okay, um, let me go ahead and cook some food real quick before I head out. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Greddy has become exhausted. Okay, which one of you is Greddy? Oh! Oh boy. Dude, dude, are you... Dude, are you good? Looking like you were about to fucking barf. I need to demand you to sleep. Go to sleep, my dude. I'm not a jerk. Yeah, hey! Work hard on that. Now that I know that these freaking. Alright. You should be good there. Oh, we need to, in order to progress, we need to unlock a crown ability at the altar of the temple. Okay, um, crown. And using the hearts, I can do... Ooh! Okay, when killed on a crusade run for the first time, sacrifice a follower to be resurrected. Uh, okay. Um... Once per crusade, eat a... Whatever the hell that is. To receive a heart that will vary depending on what is eaten. Omnipresence. Focus while on the crus crusade run to instantly return to base. Okay. Darkness within. Receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each run. Um... We're gonna do the hunger. You have unlocked a new crown ability. Once a day, eat a meal to receive a blue heart. Uh, we should go ahead and declare a new doctrine while we're here. Um, what have we got? Surrounding their daily bread, reassure them that death is not the end. Proffer both labor and love. True meaning of obedience. Value of earthly gods. Uh, let's do sustenance. Feast or fast? Ritual fast. Perform a ritual at your temple, uh, temple to declare a fast. Followers will not... Eat or be hungry for three days or feasting ritual. Unlock the feasting ritual. Throw a grand feast for your followers to refill their hunger and gain plus 25 faith. Feasting. 
All right, here we go. Because I know I can't choose the other one. Boom. Awesome. And... Yep, we just accept that. Matter of fact, let, can, we, can we go ahead and do that ritual while I'm here? Uh, bonfire. That gains. Sacrifice a follower to grow your strength and unlock new abilities and weapons. Higher level followers. Um, let's go ahead and do a feasting ritual. Sermon, draw some energy. And then what do we got? We've got Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will appear on your crusades. Uh I, I already unlocked that one. Yep. Um Kudai's blessing. Resummon a weapon or curse, but its level will be reduced by one. Only works in the entrance room. Vampiric weapons. Yep. Chance to heal the wielder using the. Yep, 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 yep. Vampiric life steal. Freaking. Um, whatever you want to call it. Hell yeah. Alright. Um. Let's check stuff in the. Yep, okay. And we are good to go. New doctrine. Oh, I woke and disturbed. Um, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Um, did you not want to eat? Well shits. Anyways. Alright, time to collect another divine inspiration for the stone mine. Yes. Yes, I was wondering if, I was seriously wondering if there was going to be stuff like this. And now we are going to go down here. And while we can't build the lumber yard, we can build the stone mine and we will do it right there. And wait a minute, am I able to place more than one stone mine? I'll go ahead and build it while I'm here, because, like, I mean, why not? Oh, geez, Louise. This is going to take a while. And if I stop now, then the followers have to do it, which is more work for them, and then they're going to be more hungry, and blah, 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 so... Let's go ahead and just finish. All right, and we received two faith. All right, and before we go on another run, because we definitely need to go on a run. Uh, oh, okay, that kind of scared the crap out of me. Um, anyways, it's time for a word from our sponsor. Are you looking for an energy drink powder that won't leave you feeling like a jittery mess? Then look no further than the sponsor of this video, Dubby. All you have to do is take one scoop of Dubby's drink powder, 8 to 16 ounces of water, you shake it all up and boom, you have the perfect energy drink that's packed with neurotropics, vitamins, and 150 milligrams of caffeine. But wait, there's more. Dubby also has a secret weapon, one that is both natural and patented, one that is derived from the finest coffee cherries and has been clinically proven to boost brain performance. And that weapon is Neurofactor. Not only will you be energized, but you'll be firing on all cylinders too. And there's more where that came from because Dubby is sugar-free, calorie-free, maltodextrin-free, and has no artificial coloring. It's basically the holy grail of energy drinks. 
And there's no reason not to try Dubby. With their $14.49 plus shipping and handling starter pack, you get an awesome shaker cup and two single serve packets of their Beach and Peach and Dragonade. It's the perfect way to try Dubby without buying a full tub. So what are you waiting for? Go to www.dubby.gg or click the link down below and use my special code, MILESTHEMAGE, for 10% off your order. Thank you, Dubby, so much for sponsoring. And now, back to the video. All right, we are back. And if things start moving a little bit slow, um, I am aware of it. During the ad read, things were definitely moving slow. I need to clean up all of this poop before we go. I cannot wait to unlock the... Uh, I cannot wait to unlock the ability to... Um, have a freaking follower do this. It's a good thing they, for the most part, poop along the, the edges. So that's, uh, that's good. All right, we're good. Oh, some, oh, okay, lumber, lumber. That's good, that's good. Do we, do we have enough? Please tell me we have enough. I don't think we do. Okay, but that's okay because we literally need what? I think like five more. Anyways, let us, let's do, let us progress. One chain down. And now it's time to enter Anora. All right, awesome. Super cool. Get back here, get back here. Ah, damn, oh well. All right, let us do this. Let's do a run. Ooh, I am so excited for this. I think I already said it, but Cult of the Lamb is definitely one of the games I want on literally everything. I have been heavily debating getting it on switch so that way i can play it on the go um what was what was the other game i ended up buying i ended up buying or at least i was thinking about buying a game on switch and on xbox i can't remember what it was vampiric axe and death sweep Entering the land of the Bishop, Paquette. Those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Like this. Yep. Die, you inanimate piece of wood. I need, I need wood. Now, just because, like, when I build the stone mine and uh, the lumber yard, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop getting wood because I can't. I've learned that I cannot rely on my followers as of right now. Um, I'm thinking about doing something like I'm thinking about doing a playthrough of Cult of the Lamb, but like, um, like each follower will be named after like a subscriber or something. Thinking about doing something like that. So far we've got two black hearts. I'm pretty sure that might be... And I do not remember how much wood that was, but we're gonna keep going. We got new enemies. Holy smokes, yes. Whoa! Okay, wow. All right, that was, uh, that was quite the punch. Can I kill you? Oh, yes I can, and I get a shell out of it. Pretty cool. Some grass. Damn. 
All right, let's keep moving, shall we? Uh oh. Pathetic, sniveling, vile puppet to the red clown. Clown? Crown. You have felled the youngest of us. We are the bishops of the old faith. We protect against heresy such as yours. We are the guardians of the true world, and we shall not tolerate such blasphemy. Your sins are many, and for that your loyal followers must suffer. They shall starve. <gasps> Ready? Where am I? Later? <gasps> Greddy is starving. What the hell? Oh my goodness gracious. Um, well, uh, I did not expect that. Um, yeah, well, now I got that to deal with. There we go. Grass, some bone. Onwards. Come on. Ooh, the blue heart. Yeah. Can we? Come on. I never learned my lesson. I need to freaking um, I need to stop being so just combat focused. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna take that. And before we continue, we need to backtrack. We got telescope and 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Let's do telescope. All right. Let's us keep going. Why did why they have to pick on Greddy though? Well, at least it wasn't like my bestie. Okay, so we have a mystery and we have stone. We're gonna go with the mystery. Hopefully it's not anything too bad. Oh. Who are you? <laughs> Hapless Leshy, youngest of the five. Twas his eyes he lost. <laughs> Temperamental Hecate, with her throat cut neat. <laughs> Cowardly Calamar's ears torn from his head. <laughs> and Shamara. Once the brightest of the five, till their skull were split. See no evil, speak not, hear nothing, think none. The one who waits made it so. Um. Interesting. That, that was it? Well... You know, I can't be complaining too much because at least it was something like that and not like uh, something that would kill me. Steal that devotion, get us uh, closer to doing some upgrades. We've got Crusader's Blade and a Bane Dagger. Okay, poisoning is good, but I kind of want Vampiric. We can get, see, like, it's only the speed that's faster, so we're, we're just gonna walk away.
And uh, let's go. Let's keep going. Nice. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Ooh, blue heart. Yes. Please. Alright, I'm not really good at anything. So, let's keep going. Ow. Yep, there we go. And another a leafy lantern. Nice. That was it. Totally thought there might have been more than that. And let's hope I don't jinx it. All right, what do we got? We got damage, uh, a diseased heart. We're going to increase our attack rate. Oh boy, boss fight. Uh, a Gusian. through here we are uh, four more runs away from uh, from doing that heretics defeated all right ten minutes wow it did not feel like ten minutes that's all do you not worship me do you not give offerings in hopes of gaining my favor? When you return to your cult, you shall find a new offering chest. There you can provide offerings that I, in my generosity, shall turn to gold so that you might strengthen this cult. But I am not easily satisfied. The same gift offered too frequently will cause the price to be lowered. Yet fear not, over time, it will grow in value once more. Give me proper tri tribute and you shall be rewarded. Uh, interesting, okay. Um, uh, that's fun. All 
All right, let's uh, let's check the damages. Cult of the Mage. New offering chest, nice. Need to deposit resources, so. Alright. And then <clears throat> let's indoctrinate you into the cult. What have we got for you? Um uh fifteen percent harder to level up. Heals fifteen percent faster when sick and in bed rest. Uh, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Beds for your followers. Yeah. I... Okay. Let's. Uh... Okay. Let's go ahead and. All right. How much wood do we have? We have forty. Okay. We have enough for everything. So we're gonna place the lumber yard like right next to the uh, stone mine. And then, because we need one bed, so let's go ahead and make one of those. And then you know what? Let's build two extra beds because, man oh man, am I getting sick and tired of frickin' doing this. Okay, anyways. So that's that on that. Um, oh, let's uh, let's check the crops. Hi, Greddy. Are you uh, gonna give a blessing? poop to uh clean up and uh that is going to be the end of this episode here i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you leave a like comment subscribe ring that bell ding 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 and join the notification station the whole shebang shaboodle the whole kit and caboodle if you know what i mean thank you guys so much for watching and this is miles signing off good boy